Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May I be. Praise the Lord. Uh, I'm Mr. Kemani. I'm born again. And I'd like to share the word of God on uh, what I'm calling uh, God protect us from temptation. Um, in the Lord's Prayer, there's a portion we normally talk about uh, God lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Actually, God can never lead us into temptation. God can only protect us from temptation. Uh, in James chapter 1, verse 13 to 16, the Bible says, let, let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away from his own desires, drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full, grown, brings forth death. Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. So God can actually protect us, or does actually protect us from temptation. Temptations are a part of life, of uh, all of us in this uh, life. Jesus actually himself was tempted when he, if, you read, if you read the Matthew uh, chapter 4 and Luke chapter 4 uh, it gives an account of Jesus Christ being tempted and um, this also reminds us of uh, David David actually the Bible calls him a man after God's own heart but we know in the account recorded in Second Samuel, chapter 11, verse 1 to 4, David was actually tempted. Uh, the Bible says that uh, at the time when kings go for war, uh, David stayed at home. And I can uh, liken this one to what is happening right now. We are staying at home most of the time. We are experiencing the, the curfews and the, the, the lockdowns so actually David imposed on himself self-imposed uh, lockdown curfew instead of being out there those days kings never uh, uh, led uh, a war in the house they would go out you, you, you remember how how, how, how he was able to kill Goliath those days. So it was a, 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 a little bit unfortunate for him to be idling at home. We may not say we are idling at the moment because we have to follow the, the government directives. But I want to share this message because the media reports are indicating increased levels of indoor, what I'm calling indoor crimes especially against uh, uh, ladies, what we, we call uh, gender-based uh, violence. So, then, as brethren, what do we need to do? I want to uh, remember the words of uh, uh, King David, 
he, he last words to to his son Solomon, as recorded in First Chronicles chapter twenty-eight, verse nine. He, he told Solomon, "My son, uh, follow the God of your father with a with a loyal heart, with a loyal heart, and a diligent mind." Two things are mentioned that I want to focus on today: the heart and the mind. And again, if you read the uh, Philippians chapter four. Verse eight. The Bible says that whatever is, whatever is good, whatever is pure, whatever is true, whatever is praiseworthy, yeah. Think, think about such things. So again, mind, mind is addressed there. There's a very popular scripture in Proverbs four twenty three, whereby we are advised to guard, guard. To guard our hearts more than anything else, because out of the heart emanates the issues of life. So I want to emphasize on two things here: mind and the heart. And because um, my 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 audience is majorly students, they will, they will, I will resonate well with them when I talk about the five senses, because. We get information from external stimuli through the senses. Once we get information from outside, from external stimuli, that information gets to the mind. No wonder the Bible addresses the mind and the heart. Any information from external environment gets to the mind, then to the heart. That's why you're supposed to guard those two things. Whatever gets to the mind and then finds its way to the heart influences our behavior patterns and our value systems. Whatever you see people doing, they have been influenced through what they received external through the mind. Then they, the mind will not receive information and whatever the mind accepts as good takes us to the heart. That's why we should guard those two things more than anything else. Which are these five senses? Number one is the sense of sight, eyes. What do we watch at, at such a time as this, when we have a lot of time in the house, what are we watching? Psalms 1, 1 verse 2 to 3 says that I will set nothing wicked before my eyes. So don't watch Pornography. Don't watch dirty movies because they will affect your behavior patterns and your value systems. What about ears? The second sense, a organ. What do we listen to? Allow me to read Psalms 1, verse 1 to 3. Blessed is a man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But he delights, his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaves also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. So do not sit with the mockers, the scornful, because whatever you listen to will again influence your behavior patterns and your value systems. What about hands? What do you touch? Psalms 26, 9 to 10 says that we should never have, have hands with sinister skin. Yeah? Hands that commit sin. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 8 talks of men should pray by lifting up holy hands. Do we have holy hands? What about taste? What are we eating? Proverbs 23, that one, warns us against wine, against drinking, against taking things that will intoxicate us. What about a smell? Smell, I want to use 
the, 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 the interpret it this way. I may remind you of a story we used to hear when we were young about the hyena that smelled good food uh, from different directions and so decided let, let two legs for this route and the other two legs this route. So whichever a, 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 a route I, I, I will fall and there is food, I won't miss out and it ended up uh, being split into two. Where do we visit? Where do we allow our feet to go? Because young men and women have messed up their destinies by visiting bad places, by going to parties and bash, outing dates and their destinies were messed. Where do we allow our feet to go? The Bible says that the steps of the righteous are ordered by God. Let us allow God to order our steps. Thank you very much for listening. I'm sure you're blessed. If you're not born again, repeat this prayer after me. Heavenly Father, I come before you. I repent. Forgive me all my sins. Remove my book from the book of hell. Write my name in the book of life. Help me to live a victorious life and to serve you all the days of my life. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray and believe. Amen. God bless you.